All right, we're back with Kelly Kai. Now we're going to ask you some golf related questions. I love what I do. I get to travel the world and meet amazing people around the world and have become family. And yeah, that's my favorite part about my job. I love, you know, the places I get to go and visit and eat. Uh, I turned pro, pro at the age of 20. I guess 19, I was. Um, I like to see myself move up in the world ranking, probably win a tournament here and there. You know, I really like to see Malaysian golf gets better. So, whether or not I retire in the next five years, I like to possibly help um, to grow the game in Malaysia. Yes, when I was 15, I told my parents that I want to be a professional golf golfer. They thought I was crazy. But since I haven't stopped believing in that, and now I'm living my dream. I love the game. I love learning every day. I feel like, you know, golf is not a game where you can only get to this good or, you know, a level. There's no limits to get better. So every day I wake up and I want to go to the range and hit balls and play golf and just learn about, you know, how to get better in every aspect of the game. I think golf has come a long way in Malaysia, but there's also, there's a lot of things can be improved years to come. I remember the first time the LPGA came to Malaysia it was when I was 17. So this was 9, 10 years ago. And there were only a couple of us as a professional women golfer. And today we have 9 or 8, if I'm not mistaken. So I know the number is very small, but we are improving. And we just, the thing is with women's golf, there's a lot of financial support needed. And that's you know, the one thing that Yes, so every Monday I fly, I'll get to the place and then I'll check in, I'll go to the course and register for the tournament and take Monday easy. Tuesday will be a practice round, 18 holes, and I'll do a little practice and in the afternoon I'll go back to my hotel and work out a little bit, go to bed. <laughs> Wednesday is usually a prom day. Uh, you play 18 holes with the group and very, very like practice. Or like workout Thursday to Sunday tournament days. Um, I used to play this pro one. Oh, first of all, again, you know, I've had amazing people in my life that has supported me, and you know, whether it's financially or through text messages or whatsoever. I think that's very important for me because I'm all across the world and I'm by myself, traveling, you know, the U.S. Second of all, I have great sponsors that has been my partners for, you know, like Mazda has been my partner for six, five years, going to year six. My coach, Gary Gilchrist, that has helped me um, the past couple of years, and my trainer, Rich Heskey, he's from Canada, and we have worked the past five years together and have seen some crazy change of my physical side of me. And yeah, I'm just really grateful. I think the strong part of my game is my driver, my chipping. Well, I wouldn't, don't want to say it's weak, but like putter is an on and off thing. Like sure. You can't really control that, so I would say putter. Well, there are people that hit balls right by water because mm -hmm. there's a big chance that they'll fall in. Yeah. So I've seen that. No, not in professional golf. Uh, I try to talk to my caddy or I try to sing, even though I know it's stupid at the time. It's something that will get me out of my mind. Well, there's many, but my best finish is on the LPGA is number four at the Marathon Classic. Um, I've recently regained my LPGA card. Um, I had a win early this season at the Symmetra uh, Natural, Florida Natural Classic. Um, yeah, there's been a few great things in my career so far. I think they treat me fairly, but I like to see that they cover more. Because I know I'm over in the US, it's hard to reach me, you know, the time zone and all that. But I still think they would like to read sure. stuff overseas.